In this video, I'm going to talk about combinations with the TI-84+. Plus. If you haven't seen the video on combinations, or you don't know anything about combinations, you probably want to at least get some idea of how it, how it all works. So combinations would be, uh, say I had seven items, and I just wanted to pick out three of them, and it doesn't matter what order they come in or whatever. There's no places here. I'm just picking three of them at random. How many possibilities are there uh, to pull those three out? Like, you know, how many time, like, what's the total number that I can pick three, essentially? So, um, in this case, the, the calculator for the T84 Plus, by the way, Texas Instruments people, if you didn't see the other video, I have plenty of these, so it's okay. I'm about to use an emulator. Don't freak out. Thanks, Web at Emu. Um, so anyway, maybe it's in, uh, who knows. Anyway, the uh, nice thing about this is you could do it one of two ways. You could do it directly. I don't know why I brought it up and then kicked it back down. But the formula, by the way, for combinations is n factorial, which is n would be the total number you're dealing with, so the seven, and then uh, r factorial. R is like how many, your, how large your group, your special interest group is, so the three, and then you want to do n minus r factorial just to give you um, sort of the leftover part once you take that special group out because you'll be uh, breaking the overall group down by that amount. But you have to make some adjustment combinations because it doesn't matter what order those three come in. So either way you want to do it and by the way worked out that would be this and 7 minus 4 or 7 minus 3 is 4 so 4 factorial. Now, the easiest way to do this one is just to go in to the math menu here. Uh, first off, you want to put your total number in for, uh, before you do anything else. So, 7. And then you want to go to your math menu. There should be a PRB thing. That's probability. Go down to combinations. You type in your little subset, your R value, and you hit enter. And it says that total combinations of three items out of seven, there are 35 total possibilities. It's pretty simple to get that part right. If you wanted to do it with the formula because you're really into formulas for some reason, uh, with this, I mean most of the time you can get to the fraction menu and then you'll just type 7 and you need to do the little factorial notation which is in the same place the other part was which sort of makes the whole doing it this way seem meaningless but some people love to use the formula because they can write the formula down and match it up and everything looks good so you know I'm not against that idea at all. I like structure as you try to get to your answers because, you know, lack of structure is usually where people tend to make mistakes. 7 minus 3, close that out, and go back to the factorial representation again. That's it, 35. So either way you want to do it, it'll get you there. It's a pretty simple process, and uh, it knows that doing it by hand just doesn't seem to make much sense anymore. So good luck.